2004 champion Svetlana Kuznetsova taking on Anna Chakvatadze. And early, a break point opportunity for Chakvatadze, who has won 17 of her last 19 matches. Kuznetsova hits in the net. Chakvatadze with the break up early. Kuznetsova serving in the near court. Again, trying to get at the young Russian, 20 year old, putting Kuznetsova on the defensive, making her work. Forehand error. One of 21 of her 35 uncourse errors in the match that came in the first set. And then she only had one double fault in the entire match, but Kuznetsova offers it up on set point. First set to Chakmanadze, 6 3. Second set. The former U.S. Open champion starts to settle down, focusing on putting her opponent at the back of the baseline. Defending a break point here against Chakmanadze. Watch Kuznetsova with a big forehand. Deep. Follows it up. With a smash winner. Just on the line. Thank you, Kuznetsova, having defended that break point. Moving ahead. Trying to get a break of her own. Dr. Tadze just trying to stay in the point. Kuznetsova with the break. She's up 5 1. And on set point. Another chance to break Chakra Tadze for Kuznetsova. Dr. Tadze swings. It's wide. One of 46 unforced errors in the match. 6 1 in the second to Kuznetsova. Third and decisive set. Kuznetsova really feeling it. Coming in, nice touch at the net, and then pinches it off. Now, break point for Kuznetsova. She was able to break Chakratadze eight times in the match, completely dominating in the second and third sets. Coming up with something special, pinching Chakratadze off, who just did not look sharp in the third set. Kuznetsova applying the pressure once again, going behind Chakradase for the winner down the line. And at 5-1 in the third set, we go to match point. Kuznetsova serving for a spot in the finals. Another Chakradase error. Svetlana Kuznetsova back to the U.S. Open Championship match. The 2004 champion looking impressive against the number six seed, Anna Chakvatadze. Svetlana Kuznetsova, another Grand Slam title for her? It remains to be seen. It's when you put the ball in court, you win. When you hit it out, you lose. So this is basically it, you know? I mean, I was so nervous in the first set, and I knew it was my opportunity, and, you know, I got so stuck there, and I was just not doing anything at all. I was just every ball I hit, I hit it with a frame from the backhand, or, somewhere out in the beforehand and didn't serve well, so basically this is it. I just played horrible. I mean, I didn't, ex it, I didn't expect uh, it will be such a turnaround after this first set, you know, just couldn't put a ball in, in the court. But I'm very disappointed how the way I played today, I mean, uh, I didn't want to, you know, just win in straight sets or something like that, but at least play, play. <laughs> At least maybe more than 50% that I can, but it didn't happen. I just was so fighting, you know, I never would give up. And it was semi final, it was, it was, you know, it wasn't the best match I've played, but it was also a great challenge for me, you know. I was, I was talking to myself, I said, look, it's a challenge, you're losing, but you know, you can do it, you know, you can play better, you know, then uh, if you do good, basically you have to win, so it's your challenge. You take it or you don't. So I did, and I, I'm really proud of my effort today. Here, it just, it's just a kind of showtime, you know, and the crowd is always crazy, and it's always nice, and it pumps me up. This is what I like about it, you know. Because uh, sometimes you don't have to be American to be favorite, you know. Of, of course, I mean, you guys like to love here American people a lot <laughs> from your country, but still, like, um, People are so open-minded from different countries, and it's unbelievable to be here. It's something really strange. So many surprises happens, and I love that.